Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're just going to do a quick video with the Everlast 325 EXT. We're going to put a drain bung into an oil pan. As you can see, I already fucked up and drilled the hole a little too low. So I put a little higher and we're just going to, you know, weld right around it. So typically put them like here. Um, you can put them up here too. It's just a little bit easier going. Uh, putting them back here because you can kind of drop it down a little bit from your actual lip and get a nice area around the whole fitting so you can get the torch in there and weld it a lot easier than getting in here. It's super doable. It's just I prefer this because it's simpler and takes less time. So I'm just going to grab a wire wheel, clean up the side of this. This actually is pretty clean for uh, what it is. Usually these come completely caked this pan appears to have been cleaned up very well so thankful for that thank you for doing that it's uh the little things this will cost you being charged like a half hour for me spraying like four cans of brake clean into either your valve covers or your oil pan so take note of that if you're getting fittings welded into basically anything that comes off in the engine Make sure you clean it up good for the fabricator. Otherwise, it takes quite a bit, and you will notice how much it takes to get it clean. So let's just get this going, get the welder on, and uh, yeah. I forgot to mention, I just use a small drill bit, like here, drill bit, and then just use like a step bit, get it to where you need it. Super simple, Harbor Freight shit, cheap. We're gonna use some 4043, 330 second rod. Seems to like the casting a lot better than 5356. 5356 likes to crack, or is more prone, prone to cracking, but does have a, I, think it, I believe it has a higher tensile Got this from Hourglass Ingenuity, pretty dope. Acetone, clean up our area. As you can tell, it, it does do something. Prep is key, remember that. Don't ever sleep on it.
with that, ladies and gentlemen. So as you can tell, I took a little time, grabbed my acetone and a paper towel. Nice, uh, nice prep. And it gave me super, super clean results on a pretty dirty casting. Laid it in nice and hot. Nice uh, wet toes. Looking real solid. Mm. So leave me down in the comments what you guys do for your cast aluminum welding and uh, let me know how I did. I've only been doing it for, I don't know, five years and uh, aluminum's one of the hardest things to learn, I, I think. Um, I literally couldn't weld aluminum when I started TIG welding, so buy yourself a machine, get on YouTube and start getting some seat time because that will give you results like that. So if you guys like this video, please leave a like, drop a comment, and if you would like to see more like this or anything else that we post, subscribe for more, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.